Gotta go places, gotta see things. See new places and brand new things. Gotta go places and do things. Maybe to forget it. What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2024 Kia Forte, courtesy of Fred Beans Kia in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. So today we're in this one because this is a very popular car from Kia. You do get America's best warranty as well, being five years, 60,000 miles, bumper to bumper, 10 years, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. And essentially, this is a car that competes with the Civic, the Corolla, the Elantra, just to name a few. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one, from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. It says, as you can imagine, there are several trim levels for the 2024 Forte. First one being the LX, starting at $19,990. LXS for $20,490. GT line for $22,490. GT, which is the one we are in today, starting at $24,690. And lastly, the GT manual, starting at $25,390. And so as you can imagine, with all of these trim levels, there are two different power plants available for the Forte. First one is going to belong to all the non-GT trim levels. So the one that we do not have today, that one is powered by a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, putting out 147 horsepower at 6,200 RPM, 132 pound-feet of torque coming in at 4,500 RPM. That power being sent to the front wheels through an intelligent variable transmission. Zero to 60 time for that one, approximately 8.1 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 30 in the city, 41 on the highway, taking regular unleaded fuel. But so then there is that other engine configuration and the one that we have today, belonging, of course, to the GT trim levels. That one is powered by a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder, putting out 201 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 195 pound feet of torque coming in at 1,500 RPM, power being sent to the front wheels through a seven speed dual clutch with paddle shifters or a six speed manual transmission. That's that GT manual transmission I said at the beginning. But, anyways, zero to 60 time, approximately 6.4 seconds, with MPG numbers coming in at 27 in the city. 35 on the highway for the dual clutch, 22 city, 31 then on the highway for the six speed manual, taking regular unleaded fuel yet again. And so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in the Forte, wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. There's a drive mode button located just to the left of the shifter. Those drive modes will include normal, sport, and smart, adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response, and the steering sensitivity. And so now that having got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and find a straightaway. I want to put the paddle shifters here to the test first. By the way, there is a full manual shift mode to put it in that manual shift mode just slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left and it is actually going to tell you what gear you're in up on the digital portion of the gauges here so got it in sport driving mode got it in manual shift mode let's test out the paddle shifters and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right here's a straightaway in three two one go dang they're quick Paddle shifters are actually quick. I think I should have expected that though, because it is a dual clutch after all. It's not like a traditional automatic, but still, that was fun. Paddle shifters work brilliantly in the Forte GT without a doubt. So if you wanna have a little extra fun with them, they're there for you because that works. But anyways, let's not go ahead and find one more straightaway. I wanna put the acceleration here now to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 Forte here up to speed. All right, so GoPro failed on me. So we're just gonna do this with my ugly face in the picture. So three, Two, one, go. Not bad. Dang. <laughs> this thing is quick, dude. Zero to 60 in 6.4 seconds. That is pretty, pretty impressive. And it feels a little quicker than that, actually. There was a little bit of slipping at the beginning, but it is very cold out. It was actually snowing when I first started filming this video, but that is a heck of an acceleration for what this car is, without a doubt. But anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 11 inch ventilated front disc for the non-gt trim level and then 12 inch ventilated front disc for the gt that we have today in the back 10.3 inch solid rear disc for the non-gt 11.2 inches then for the gt as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes that comes in at 112 feet that is a sports sedan number for sure typically with uh, compact cars you get the 120s so 112 feet that is brilliant and you could feel that this thing instantly comes to a stop so 
brilliant braking to go along with that brilliant acceleration here on our Forte GT. But anyways, then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension in the back, coupled torsion beam rear axle for the non-GT trim levels, but then an independent multi-link rear suspension for the GT. So you're gonna get a little better ride quality, a little better handling if you were to go with the GT trim that we have today. So I did wanna emphasize that. Twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers, of course, and a front stabilizer bar that comes standard, but for the GT yet again, front and rear stabilizer bar. So yet again, better handling with the GT. So that's pretty cool. As far as ride quality goes, I will say you do tend to feel a little bit more of the road in this uh, Forte GT, at least. Maybe it's the low profile tires. I don't know, but I am feeling a good bit more of the road. And there is a good bit of salt on the road right now as well. So yeah, I'm just saying, but steering feel is brilliant though. I, that's one of the things I muttered to myself when I first started driving this one. It is a heavy steering feel. It leans more on the heavier side of things. So it instantly points you in the direction that you want to go. So I do love that. As far as cabin noise goes, without all the salt on the road, like kind of right now, it's perfectly fine, honestly. I don't have any issues with that. There's a little, little bit of road noise, but it's nothing personally that would bother me. Then taking a look at rear visibility out of my rear view mirror here, it is 100% perfectly fine. With the shape of this sedan, you're definitely not gonna have any issues in terms of rear visibility. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Kia Forte. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Kia Forte finished in sporty blue. Yes, that is the sporty name of this exterior color that we have on this one here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Forte is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the number three, indicating that the new 2024 Forte is built and assembled in Mexico, as I've been finding a lot of cars in the US have been lately. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front. Of course, you have that tiger nose front grill in typical Kia fashion there. Got the red accent since we have the GT trim that's also gonna be found on the GT line. So essentially when it comes to the trim levels, the GT trims are gonna be the faster trims with the uh, more powerful engine. And then the GT line is gonna be all the cosmetic upgrades that make it look like a GT, but it actually has the other engine in it. So I'll just put it that way. But to the sides, halogen headlights coming on the the LX, LXS, and GT line with daytime running lights, of course. LED headlights, however, coming on the GT trims with LED daytime running lights. Either way, though, you get the automatic feature. Either way, you also get automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So you got to love that. LED fog lights, you guys can see those down below there. They are going to come on the GT line, but also the GT trims, of course. And to the sides, you do have some front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination as well. So one of my favorite parts though, if you look through the bottom portion of that front fascia there, you do have that front intercooler since we have the turbocharged engine. So that's pretty cool seeing that too. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end of the Forte. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, black window surrounds do come standard. Body colored side mirrors for the LX and the LXS, however, gloss black side mirrors for the GT line and the GT trims of course. Power adjustable side mirrors does come standard. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals then for the GT line and the GT trims. But then taking a look down at the wheel setup, 15 inch steel wheels with covers for the LX, 16 inch alloys for the LXS, 17 inch alloys for the GT line and then 18 inch alloys for the GT. So a different size for every trim level is kind of funny, but that pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and swing around to the back. All right, so this is pretty cool. I like the view in the back here, but anyways, gloss black shark fin antenna all the way to the top. Just below that, you're gonna find a gloss black rear spoiler that is specific though to the GT line and GT trim levels. LED taillights for the GT line and GT trim levels then as well. They definitely look good back there. Single exhaust outlet for that naturally aspirated engine, but then as you guys can see here, here, we do have dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips for the GT, so that is pretty cool. But anyways, having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the Forte here, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, this is one of my favorite parts actually, believe it or not. There's actually a hands-free smart trunk for the GT line and GT trim. The way that works 
is you essentially just keep the key in your pocket. You walk up behind the trunk. It's going to beep a few times and then it's going to automatically open up for you. So when I got my hands full of camera equipment, or when you have your hands full of kids or groceries or whatever the case, as long as you got the key in your pocket, it's going to automatically open up. It's one of the coolest features on the Forte without a doubt. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 15.3 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split for the LXS trim level and up only. I wanted to emphasize that. Of course, there are cargo lighting back there as well. And then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you are going to find a spare tire, which you guys know I love to see. But then make our way up to the rear legroom. That comes in at 35.7 inches. For reference, I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Rear ventilation does come standard on the GT. It's going to be optional on the GT line. USB charging port, also standard on the GT, optional on the GT line. Rear center armrest with cup holders, also back there as well so that is pretty cool but i love the rear ventilation that's a very very rare feature for compact cars you can't get it on the civic you can't get it on the corolla so the fact that you can get it on the forte that's pretty cool but then making our way up to the front seats cloth seating coming with the lx and lxs a cloth syntax combination for the gt line and gt trims manually adjustable front seats do come standard however 10-way power adjustable driver's seat is going to be optional for the gt line and gt trim levels we actually do have that option we got every option by the way on this forte so that's pretty cool heated front seats coming with the gt manual it's going to be optional on the gt line and gt and then ventilated front seats also optional on the gt T line and GT. Again, we got all those options. The buttons are located just to the left of the shifter, so that's pretty cool. Overall, as far as seat comfort goes, the, the bolsters on the side, definitely very pronounced. I love that. It holds you in place freakishly well. I like the GT lettering on the upper portion of the seats as well, but overall seat comfort, 100%. Absolutely no issues there. Then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It will be leather wrapped with a flat bottom for the GT line and GT trims. I like the GT lettering found at the bottom portion as well. Then make your way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Kia logo on the one side. When you flip it over, there's nothing because all of your buttons are located on the side of the key. Lock, unlock. Uh, the lock button is actually the uh, top button there. That's pretty cool button to pop the rear trunk there the hold button that is your remote start i love seeing that as well but it is all keyless entry with the push button start if you go with the gt line or gt trim level so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up, tachometer is on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a small digital display. To control what is on that digital display, there are steering wheel mounted controls found on the right side of the steering wheel. Gives you a ton of different information, like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's your outside temperature with a snowflake because it is snowing right now. That's pretty cool. There's a digital speedometer, of course, trip A, trip B, the list goes on. So pretty much everything you possibly want on the digital portion, at least, of that gauge cluster. But so then making our way to overall interior quality, there is a power sunroof that comes standard on the GT manual optional on the GT line and GT trims we got that option yet again LED interior lighting for the GT manual alloy foot pedals for the GT line and GT trims wireless phone charger for the GT trim as well that's located just in front of the shifter there that's pretty cool speaking of just below that little ledge you do have a more rubberized storage there 12 volt power outlet couple USB charging ports behind the shifter you got your dual cup holders electromechanical parking brake and within the center arm rest actually decent amount of space more so than i'm used to seeing in compact cars at least so that was pretty cool and i like this kind of gloss black uh accent piece found in the doors here too that looks pretty good also i almost forgot to mention you do have an overhead sunglass holder found in the roof of this one so that's pretty cool too but anyways definitely gets the job done i don't mind the interior quality here but now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen so you're going to find an eight inch color touchscreen display for the lx and lxs trim levels but then a 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display for the gt line and gt trims bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard android auto apple carplay as well factory navigation system coming with the GT line and GT trims. That's rare, especially in a compact car. So big fan of that. You also have a voice memo system as Kia and Hyundai both love to do. I like that feature. So just records your voice and then you can play it back at a later time if you didn't want to forget something perhaps. So that is pretty cool. But yeah, traffic information, a Doppler radar, local fuel prices as well. That's kind of cool. But also, of course, your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there are three of them. Four speakers is going to come on the LX and LXS trim levels. Six speakers for the GT line and GT trims. However, there is an eight speaker harmony 
Garmin Kardon sound system for the GT manual that is going to be optional for the GT that we have today. So we got that option yet again. That's pretty cool. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. There was a decent amount of bass. Clarity was perfectly fine as well. That's probably just the right sound system for this vehicle, if I'm being honest. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, at least, is when you do put the Forte in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming stated across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start by mentioning, I always mention this, this one is actually not an IHS top safety pick. So I wanted to start with that. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection lane keep assist lane following assist driver attention warning gt line trim level and up is going to add to that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert i love that that's the little car icons and side mirrors letting you know who was in your blind spot do you get adaptive cruise control with stop and go which is the best system in existence this and hyundai they have the best adaptive cruise control systems i'm convinced i test them all out highway driving assist though as well for those trims but overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the kia forte you do get america's best warranty so you gotta absolutely love that you can't beat that very good styling as well i love the looks of this thing and it's a very affordable car as well this starts at under twenty thousand dollars that's a that's a big rarity these days with all the inflation that we're getting so i love that also with the gt trims plenty of power excellent braking you really can't beat 60 to 0 and 112 feet well you can beat it but in this segment you really can beat it that's absolutely wonderful the only constructive criticism that i can really think of and this is kind of a big one for me too but if this is my kid's first car and that's the way i got to think of it because this is a very popular first car segment it's not an ihs top safety pick because of the crash test ratings so the competition though is so you got the civic and corolla both an ihs top safety pick plus even the elantra is an ihs top safety pick so with this one not falling into that category that kind of sucks for me because this car really is quite fun at least the gt trim level is but anyways let me know what you guys think of the forte in the comment section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold